The Samsung Focus 2 is a new phone by Samsung and AT&T that was recently introduced at CTIA. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this phone. This is a Windows Phone 7.5 operating system running here on a phone that's got a 4-inch Super AMOLED screen. It's turned up to full brightness right here. It is nice and bright. and The colors are very saturated as most Super AMOLED screens are, so it's very nice to look at. As for the body of the phone itself, it's white. It's the only color it comes in. It's got these silvery accents. I think it looks really nice and it feels smooth and silky in the hand, but perhaps it's a little too silky because I also find that it's rather slippery. Definitely like the way that the buttons are styled on here though. You've got a hardware photo button as well, uh, so you can press and hold to wake up the camera and also to take pictures. There's a front-facing VGA camera and a rear-facing 5 megapixel camera with a flash. The photo taking ability is pretty nice on this, although my one gripe is that photos capture at a medium resolution by default, so you can actually make it much sharper if you want. There's also support for 720p HD video capture on the rear facing camera. There aren't a whole lot of other surprises with this phone because it is a Windows phone and Microsoft pretty much curtails a lot of experimentation with the exception of some apps from Samsung and from AT&T. So this is a very standard experience. It's a good one, but one of the things that makes the phone uh, desirable is the fact that it's got 4G LTE on board. Another desirable trait is the price. It costs just $49.99, which is a budget price and very good for the specs that you get on here. So I would recommend it if you're somebody who doesn't need an advanced 8 megapixel camera, for instance. The Samsung Focus 2 will be available starting on May 20th. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET. You can read the full review of the Samsung Focus 2 at CNET.com.